Okay, we're going to work a problem that falls in the, into the category of equilibrium of a particle, and specifically where all of the forces involved are coplanar. Okay, so the gusset plate is subjected to the forces of four members. Determine the force in member B and its proper orientation theta for equilibrium. The forces are concurrent at point O, and then take F to be 12 kilonewtons. Okay, so equilibrium of a particle just means that the free body diagram that you draw, you, you can draw it like the, just as a point if you want. And when it comes to statics or, or where the, all the sums of the forces equal zero, you can do that if all of the forces are concurrent, the, the lines of action meet at a point. And that point doesn't have to be the, the center of mass at least for the, uh, the statics case. And again, I, I go over that, the details of, of when you can treat something as a particle in, another, in a separate video. So, so yeah, so let's do that. Let's, so this is our free body diagram. That's point O, the point where the lines of action, all the, for, all the forces meet. Okay, and any free body diagram needs a coordinate system. So we'll put our, our X, Y coordinate system with the origin at, at the point, but it doesn't have to be that in this situation, but we'll just go ahead and do that. Okay, and so what do we have? We know that. We have eight kilonewtons acting here. We've got a vertical force F. Okay, we've got this force T occurring at angle unknown angle theta and then we've got five kilonewtons at 45 degrees and we'll just put 45 degrees here Okay, so that is our free body diagram. So now, with any free body diagram, you can, you can apply your equations of equilibrium. For each separate free body diagram, you can apply the equations of equilibrium. So let's sum the forces in the x direction. We know that the sum of the forces in the x are going to sum to zero because this particle or this assembly is in equilibrium. It's not accelerating or, or moving in this situation. So 8, positive 8, and then minus T cosine theta, and then plus 5 cosine of 45 is equal to 0. Okay, so we've got 8 minus... T cosine theta, and then five times. And this is so 3.5355. Okay, and so adding eight to 3.5355. 11.5355 so that means we get T cosine theta is equal to 11.5355 okay so now let's sum the forces in the Y direction so we've got minus T sine theta plus F minus 5 or sine of 45 is equal to 0. So, so we know that this F 
they give us that this F is 12 kilonewtons. So we've got minus T sine theta plus 12, and then cosine of 45 and sine of 45 is, is the same. So we can just copy this 3.5355. So minus 3.5355. Is equal to zero. So minus T sine theta okay, eight point four six four five. Okay, so now we just need to solve for t or theta. So let's let's solve for t here. And now let's substitute this t in here. So we get right and then this is equal to 8.4645 so we get that tangent of theta is equal to so 8.4645 divided by 0.7 So theta is equal to thirty-six point three degrees. Okay, and that's one of the answers. That's the um, the proper orient this this angle theta for equilibrium. Okay, but it also wants the this this force t so just let's just plug theta in here so we got we get t is equal to 11.5355 over cosine of 36.3 so the t is equal to so 11.5 Five three five five divided by cosine of thirty six point three fourteen point three kilonewtons. And and that's that's your final answers.